Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, December 8th. I really don't even like saying the dates because sometimes by the time the video comes out, it's like who knows when in the future. And that seems to be when it bothers you all the most when you know the date. But if I don't say the date, you won't know the date. And it will feel like now. It will feel just like today as it is. Um, it's always now. It's always now. Even when you're watching something in the past, you're watching it now. So it can influence, affect, shape your now. You know how many books we've read from eons ago that still inspires us, affects us, shapes us in the now? The Alchemist, Think and Grow Rich, all that good stuff. So, um, but I'm saying the date today because it's, it's pivotal to my life for today. So today I'm working all the hours at work. Right now I'm on lunch. It's 11 a.m. And I'm actually on the way out to the property, but you will see that in a future video. Um, but so that's what I'm doing for my long extended lunch break, running some errands around that side of the world. But, a court, but as far as today goes, today is December 8th, so it is the last day to use my Kohl's cash, my Kohl's bucks. So I have $30 in Kohl's cash, and I got to use it because that's $30 of free money. I made a video on Kohl's cash. I'll link it. But the thing about it is, honestly, if you go in there and if you spend $25, and 99 cent your cash will pay for that you don't have to spend any extra money it doesn't say you can use this if you spend 10 more dollars or whatever more dollars or whatever no it, you can go and spend five dollars that close cash will pay for that so I like to go ahead and um, use it and I'm going to do that also because it's Christmas time so I'm thinking perhaps maybe I can find some gifts because me and my sisters, we do a secret sister exchange plus a secret auntie exchange because we're all aunts all these kids. So I have three kids. Don't ask me how I pulled. I went with zero kids in the pot because Andre, who is 28, outaged the system. So I put zero kids in the pot, but I got three kids out of the pot. So I got to shop for my three babies. Everybody already sent out their list of possibilities that they may want for Christmas. So I'm going to look over those lists, see what I can do up in Kohl's with my $30. And I might get some more shopping done while there because, you know, Christmas. I am so envious of all of you who say you're already done with Christmas shopping. I am envious because, A, you already know how much you spent. Whatever you spent is already spent, so there's no guessing there. And B, you're done. You don't have to go in and out of these stores. Shopping is one of my least favorite things to do. Hello? Hi, Kanisha. How are you? I'm well. Look at me being available when you call. I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> okay, so yes, yeah, so tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, afternoon. Okay, got it. Um, they can All go right. ahead and use the code to get in. I will not be okay. there. Okay, no problem. Okay, awesome. All right, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. And we're back. Okay, um... Yeah, and so also, shopping is like not my favorite thing to do. I am not a shopper. I do not like going into stores and just looking around. When I do do it, I got to get my mind right to do it. Like, like Wusa, go, take your time, become one with the store, find the sales, find the deals, find the cute stuff that speaks to your heart. And I'm telling you, I'm good for about one or two good looks at something, then I'm done. I'm like, I'm so people who do the shopping from store to store to store, y'all, that is a special talent and gift. Because I don't have that. I don't have it at all. Um. So for Christmas, a lot of times they say my presents are whack. Ah! 
but my heart is in the right place sisters my heart is in the right place so yeah that's where we're at right now I'm missing good free food y'all know how I feel about a good free food because right now they're having all hands at work but I have this appointment to go out to my property right now um, so I'm missing that and whenever they have like all hands or any sort of meetings I actually they feed us and I saw that they had Panera bread today they had like the Panera bread boxes um, so that was about to be dope hopefully maybe perhaps when I get back from my appointments there'll still be some leftover food and I can still um, get something for free free 99 my favorite language so that's what's going on right now hands are the ashiest it's like all the hand washing combined with the winter the cold air just really dries my skin out and it seems like no matter how much lotion I put on it is not doing much for you girl so that's it that's it that's all I have for you right now I'm gonna talk to y'all a little later when we got something to actually talk about it won't be this house though we won't be talking about the house okay okay all right so all these batteries are about to die um, I didn't charge them but I'm here at Kohl's I just got off out of work it is 8 p.m. now and it took everything in me to say, okay, girl, go ahead and spend this 30 bucks. That's free. So I'm going to review my list, my Christmas list that the people's wants. And I'm going to go ahead and see what they got going on. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, I feel better today because I did actually do my review. Did I tell y'all that already? I finished my review. Yeah, I finished my review. I resubmitted my expense sheets. I did some more training and I um, I just did things. I did things. So I feel much better about my level of accomplishment for today. All right, tonight when I get home, I plan on editing. I want. I would like to have two videos. I would like to edit for Sitting on a Tree and I would like to edit something for you all. All right, bye. Y'all, it's 8.30 a.m. I just got finished editing two videos. I got finished managing my um, Every Plate subscription service because um, I don't have time to cook. And I'm not going to, you know, Christmas is coming up. So I want to make sure that I skipped a few weeks so that they don't ship them to me. I believe I have every, pl every Plate box on my porch right now that came yesterday, Wednesday. Didn't even realize it. But luckily, it's cold outside. So it'll be nice and frozen still. And today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. So the cleaners are coming today. I still gotta go to work, y'all. I still gotta go to work. Um, and <laughs> all right, so I, 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 I always say I gotta clean up before the cleaners come. And people are like, but the cleaners are gonna come. This is why. Come on. Actually, this stuff over here is actually clean. Clean. I was gonna fold it one day, but I guess I didn't. So we're just gonna pick this stuff up and just put it right back in that basket we're gonna take all of this stuff and close the drawers properly look at that that top drawer hanging out boom done we're gonna clean this stuff off of the top of this dresser uh Gail McFlurry cup <laughs> midnight snack all right let's clean it now Next up, this corner here. This stuff here was basically stuff that was in a suitcase, but then I needed the suitcase. So now it's sitting here. Ah! That filing cabinet is just gonna stay like that. Next, let's clear off this bed. Um, and what I'm gonna do is clear off the bed, but I'm gonna put some new sheets sitting on the bed so that they know, you know, how to change the sheets. This is why I'm a fan of just putting things back when you're not using it, even when you say you're gonna get ready to use it again. That's what I've been saying about this vacuum cleaner. So it's been sitting here for about a week, long before I went to Vegas. Um, so maybe two weeks, right? So let's go ahead and put this back because clearly they about to come and vacuum everything. The last part, we're going to get this little bathroom together. Um, 
have some stuff drying, got some trash I'm going to bring down and some recyclables, and then clean off this counter. One thing I like to do when the cleaners come is put my toothbrush away. And then, of course, the washcloths and stuff will be washed after they leave. This way, I don't worry about, like, cleaning residue falling on the stuff that I use. The rest of the house is pretty good. I'm going to iron my shirt for work. The only other thing we need to kind of pick up is this right here. Yup, got back from Vegas and did not have the energy or the strength <laughs> to bring my suitcase upstairs. So I've been kind of leaving it here and taking things out here and there and bringing it up. But uh, we're going to just zip this thing up and sit it to the side. Almost like how we have this set, set to the side because I didn't feel like bringing it down the steps. But everything else is pretty together, so we have nothing else to do. Y'all, oof. It's 9.30 already, so we got the house straightened up. We got me dressed. Now the last thing we got to do is bring in this <laughs> every plate box off the porch. And I know this because it says it's been delivered. So, yep, it's sitting right there. Y'all, it's been sitting here the whole night. All right, so... We got to unpack this real quick because we can't just leave it out. Guys, this is going to be roasted bell pepper flatbread. It looks so good. Mm. I realized that I really like the vegetarian meals the best. And then we have a beef bomb me bowl, which I love the Korean dishes as well. I think that's Korean bomb me. That might be Vietnamese as well. Mm. Yeah, and then we have the French onion chicken. That looks good as too. So that's what we have in this box of every plate. We're just gonna put the stuff in the fridge, in the freezers really quick because y'all, we gotta get on this road. Oh, look at the flatbread. Look at that. Ooh. I'm gonna have to make that. I'm gonna make that like soon. I'm not gonna let the produce go bad. Here is the box of produce. Can y'all see that? See? Trash. Trash. And we got some meats. Let's get in this car, y'all. We got to go to work. 9.52. 9.52, y'all. Where's my phone? We got everything done around the house. I guess we happy about that, aren't we? Huh? I guess we could have made better use of time in other areas so that so much wouldn't have had to been done this morning. But we got the two videos done. I edited those this morning. I'm proud of that. Two videos done and they're public now. And um, I'm happy that we got the house together. I got me together. I'm happy that we um, got the trash out because today is trash and recyclable day. So that stuff is out of the house. And we got that every plate box in the house and distributed. I got a 10 o'clock call. I got to be on. And being that I'm already, well, I'm in route to work now. I'm going to go ahead and stop at dun, 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 Chick-fil-A and get that for breakfast. Then one of these days, honestly, I do want to do a detox because I do need to reset my system. I really do. But I'm not going to stop my detox until after my cycle. Oh, I must have left my calendar at work. Oh, no, here it is. Okay, until after my cycle. TMI for some of you, some of you men folk. I know, I know, I know. But for you women folk who do... Um, detoxes and such I find being that I'm an experienced professional detoxer I find that it is much easier to do them after your cycle and I think the reason is because of hormones 
hormones. Hormones make you crave things. So sometimes you notice like around your cycle, you may be hungrier. You may have more um, of a need for salty or sweet and things like that. So it's really hard to deprive yourself when your body, your hormonal changes in your body are actually um, almost running the show. Almost. So I find that, yeah, wait till after your cycle and then start your detox. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. See y'all later because I got to get on this call. Bye, y'all. Bye. Oh, Lord.